Just wanted to give you guys a quick a quick update. We will come back later um, and give you <laughs> details of our destination and how we got here. <laughs> <laughs> That was a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we are getting getting started, and hopefully we get a little bit more this morning. So that was the smallest plane we've ever flown on. I don't know if I like it very much. No, I don't. And if we're going to fly on a small plane from now on, we got to do at least comfort plus. I, I was not fond of that seat. Very tight. Um, yes. Tight. Small. Oh, yeah, it was. The ride, though. <laughs> the ride was a little bumpy, but it wasn't. So we're going to find our luggage and then uh, make our next move from there. I'm on the airport, by the way. Not that <laughs> <laughs> so we stopped with Duncan and got a chicken bacon croissant and a maple bacon croissant. I hope it's delicious. <laughs> So we are back on track. <laughs> Stopped at Dunkin' Donuts, got something to eat, and now we are heading for the tri-rail. Or the metro rail. I have to look it up and see which one we gotta take again, but I think it's the tri-rail. So yeah, we're on our way. <laughs> so it says take the orange line down to Brickle. So I think that's what we're going to do. Huh. Y'all, this is totally out of my element. I usually always have a plan for something. Um, the fact that I did not have a plan for transportation today and we're just winging it um, is freaking me out. But also, we have time because our boarding time is not actually until 2.45, but we, we can get there at 1.45 um, in order to get our COVID testing. So. We're just gonna relax. It's 10 53 now, so we'll take our time to get down.
Metro Rail. This is the fare for it. Two twenty-five. And then they actually have an app you can download. Short term view. So let's see. Push the button. Day pass. Wait a minute. Nope, we don't need a day pass. We just need one ride. Two tickets. Okay, real quick update. We made it to the cruise ship. Um, here's, she's pretty. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick, quick update. We will come back later um, and give you details of our destination and how we got here. <laughs> <laughs> um, we won't be doing that again, but uh, we will make the best out of the situation we got. Um, batteries running low, so um, as soon as we get a charge, we'll come back on and let you guys know. <laughs> Uh, how we got here? Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. So I don't know if you guys can see that little tiny blip, but that is a helicopter, a news helicopter. I think they are filming the, the mermaiden voyage of this cruise, which is pretty dope. That is the ship. all the people so when we got here they gave us a QR code for our um, COVID testing so um, we went online signed up for that we got a slot of 1 30 to 2 30 and our boarding time is at 2 45 so hopefully um, we can get that stuff done a little earlier we hope because uh, we just need to sit down for a minute recharge batteries and do all that good stuff so yeah we're uh, we're just waiting in line at this point Okay, we just had our COVID test and now we're going to check in and we're going to wait for our results. Hopefully we can get checked in pretty quickly. So the results will take 30 minutes. Okay, so hope it was painless. So uh, once you get past security, check in is pretty painless. So uh, we'll go ahead and get checked in.
Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. My assistant name is Karen. 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 Okay. From Moisture. Okay. Okay, great. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
uh, children were squared away uh, before we left. Um, so um, we forgot to book parking at the airport, so we never went off airport parking, um, which mean, means that we had to actually catch one of the buses to the airport. About a five minute drive from the airport. Yeah, it wasn't, um, it wasn't that bad. Um, and we actually got there just in time enough and got through TSA pre-check and all that stuff just in time enough to start boarding. Boarding started at 7.30. And we, we never, we never get there that, that late. No. So that was a, that was a little concerning. Yeah. Um, I knew the plane was going to be smaller than what we usually fly. I didn't know it was going to I was be not fresh. aware of this. She did not make me aware until we walked onto the plane and I saw there were only two seats per aisle. And yeah. Yeah, um, and I did that on purpose because he really, we just started flying um, really the past three or four years. So for him, I didn't want to like spook him before we actually got on the plane. Um, so that's why I did. I just did not realize the plane was as small as it was. Um, I didn't realize the seats were as uncomfortable. I mean, we love builds and we fly builds all the time, but that's, you know, that's never been an issue. Um, that's not where the adventure began. Even though it was a smaller plane, of course, you felt a little more turbulent than what you usually would feel. But anyway, that's not where the issue began. And it wasn't really an issue. Um, it was just different for us because we're used to being picked up or having a rental car or something to get to our destination. We did not have that this time because I <laughs> did not plan that. But I did some research online and we were like, oh, you can take an Uber. It'll cost you about 25 bucks. Like, okay, we could definitely do that. Spoiler alert. We're gonna be taking once we get off this boat, we'll be taking an Uber back. <laughs> but it's a spoiler alert, keep going. <laughs> um, you can take transportation services and I did look in the shuttles and for um to port and back to the airport round trip, it would have been about two hundred dollars. Um, I just didn't want to spend it. And I'd rather have spent that money on the ship if we were gonna spend it. So um, we, opt, we opted out of that. Of course, we could have took a taxi. Um, but I saw an option that said, hey, you can get to the port for $2.25 a person. And I was like, oh boy, that's what we're about to do. Not thinking, hey, there's going to be some complications in, in paying $2.25. Oh, I mean, it wasn't a problem paying the $2.25. Of course. We got <laughs> no, there's never a problem playing, paying $2.25. Um, so we caught, we caught the Metro Rail, um, which is the train system here. Um, and um, the directions I looked up said it would catch it in Brickle Ave. Um, and then all you have to do is just get on the um, transportation service or the trolley, the Miami trolley, and it'll take you to the cruise port for free. $2.25 that's all it's going to cost you is a metro, a metro rail pass. So we did that. Also, keep in mind, this whole time I am dragging around uh, 30 pounds worth of luggage. 45. Sorry. <laughs> Shorted myself. 45 pounds worth of 45 luggage. 45 pounds worth of luggage. Um, so yeah, we actually um, so yeah, we got to the metro um, the metro train and we got on board and it was fine um we don't take public transportation like that but it was fine it was like self-explanatory but i got on board and i was just like anyway i was confused about where we want to go so we got off and we waited about another 10 minutes for another train to come we got back on what was not in the directions was that you had to take a transfer to another station so basically the station from the airport was the orange the orange station. Once you got to the next station, you had to take a transfer to green. So we figured that out, we got on green, we rode it, um, and then when we got to Brickle, we got off. Um, keep in mind, I'm still thinking, I'm like, well, it's another 30 minutes and he was kind of getting motion sickness. I didn't want to keep rocking on the train. Yeah, by the way, like everything here does this, like, <laughs> Nothing smooth, uh, so that was a little, uh, a little bit of much. Yeah. So yeah, I my my thought was getting off the train. Um, even though we could have continued going to the port on the train, I just didn't want to keep it there for another 30, 30 minutes, knowing that we had to in turn come and get on the ship. Um, and we haven't been on one in a couple of years. So um, we got off and 
we got to um, our station in at Brickell, and then we saw a nice security guard who told us that we could actually um, catch the the metro trolley. The I'm sorry, the Miami trolley, which is what we did, um, which was another bumpy ride. So Everything's a bumpy ride. He's tired. Everything's a bumpy ride. <laughs> He's so tired. <laughs> um, yeah, so. We got on that, and there was us and two other people on the yes. trolley. Trolley absolutely free. If you can do it, catch the trolley. Um, if you feel like this is your form of transportation, um, I don't know if it's for us, but it did. He brought us straight to the cruise port. Um, he dropped us off at the terminal, and, and maybe it was just because it was just so unfamiliar that that's what made it kind of um, not so great because there's a familiarity with it. Um, I said at the time I wouldn't do it again, but um, maybe if we come back next time, since we're more familiar with it, it'll be a little better. Yeah, I mean, now that we know, now that we've experienced it, if I had like kids with me, I would not do this. For, this would not be my first option. Um, since it was just me and him, I didn't mind taking that adventure. <laughs> he was like, dude, you gotta keep, stop saying adventure because this is not an adventure. It was an adventure because we didn't have anything planned and we didn't know what we were gonna do. Um, the plan was to go to um, Bayport Park, I think is the name of it. I'll have to look it up. Um, Bayfront Park, um, and then go over to um, this little shopping area across the street. That was the plan, but because we, it was maybe a 45 minute trip from the, from the airport. Airport, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we just decided let's go ahead and go to the food court and we'll wait if we had to wait. In addition, it is also 90 degrees <laughs> in Miami, so. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we, we definitely did that. Um, the only thing that I can say is I'm glad we did because when we got here, the first thing they said was scan this QR code to schedule your COVID test. Um, so we did that whole thing, scanned the QR code. Um, he got in line, I went and dropped the bag off supporters. Um, they, you know, we were supposed to get on board at 245. Um, we've been on for about half an hour now. Um, so getting through that whole snuck in, I snuck in with the earlier group, and nobody said nobody anything, stopped so us along the way. No yeah. harm, no foul. Yeah, um, we definitely we were in line at one, um, and our COVID test was scheduled for 1 30. Very simple process. They just, I mean, it's literally the building that they take you in. It's just a big circle. Um, you just go in. <laughs> you just go in um, and you just um, give them your information. They give you a piece of paper. You take it to the next room, which is a testing center. And they do your swabs, which is very simple, probably the easiest one I've ever done. Um, and then you go back out and around to another building. Um, to check in and that's what we did we just basically did that by the time we went through and you go through a lot of security a lot of security your bag is scanned a lot <laughs> so at least, at least three, three times, times. yeah um, we got wanded down we actually put our bag through a scanner at least three times so just be aware of that when you're coming but um, the, the process was fairly simple they emailed, emailed us our results we had it what 15 20 minutes even though we took a COVID test last night, uh, still uh, waiting on COVID results. Again, it's still a little nerve-wracking, and then when you get those uh, negative results, it's still like a sigh relief. Yeah, so yeah, it was, absolutely. Because uh, we were like, we've never done this before. We wanted to make sure we did it right, and we were we knew we were fine. That wasn't the issue. It was just the fact that you're waiting on something to happen in order to go have fun. So that one thing could actually stop you from having fun. Um, but yeah, once we got our results, we were able to go check in. They did have an option, you know, they were giving out drinks if you wanted to have drinks. And I don't know if that's just for the Moravian Voyage right now for um, their inaugural sale. Um, it could be, um, but that's what they were doing. They were playing music. We went and checked in with somebody. Um, because we did not get our C bands, I'm sorry, our C bands mailed to us, um, we were actually able to get those when we checked in. Um, we didn't put a credit card on file immediately. We were able to do that. Um, once we got all that done, straight to the ship. Yeah, I've, we've, I've never, we've never gotten on a, in our HR rooms this fast on a cruise. Yeah. Um, typically, we wait 30 minutes, an hour, or something like that, but this was just 
as soon as we checked in, we got on the ship and came to our room, so that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, we met our cabin store, his name is d Sure. Uh, <laughs> um, it's short, it's shortened, um, but he said to call him d -Walk. Um, and he gave me, came in and gave us a tour of the cabin, which was awesome. And uh, my favorite thing is you don't need a like a key card or anything. You just actually use this band, you tap it outside the door, and open the door, and then you get in. My favorite part, and I'm probably the only one that saw that because we were talking to the cabin stories. When you open the door, like the the blinds open, the lights turn on, and you just hear this. Ah, and I'm just like, yeah. I did not see it. <laughs> I look forward to when I see it, but I did not see it. He did not get to see it. I saw it and I was just like, oh my God. And I don't know, I may have caught a little bit of it in the video, so um, we'll go back and double check and see. But guys, we're here. It was a journey. What's the plan for the rest of the day? Uh, so, because d gave you guys a room tour, I'm not going to do that. I ain't been on vacation and a cruise vacation. My husband loves me taking these places, so let me make sure I clarify Thank that. You. I have not been on a cruise ship for two years, maybe it's two and a half years. So, I'm ready to go see this ship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I'm so, you leave the way here. Okay, well. And by the way, there's a lot of lightning tumors on this ship. Um, we saw a lot of mine, and we're not definitely not at that point where we would be like, hey, you guys are probably going to go. I mean, I hope we get there one day, but it was a lot that I recognized. Um, there's some friends that we did follow on um, Instagram this year as well, so, and we follow their pages on YouTube. So, um, if you guys will link who we saw below in the video so you guys can go and follow them and hopefully um you know we'll get to run across them again in our next four days so when we got into the cabin we had some gifts here and um i think there were this is just stuff that we're giving away because this is the cruise a mermaid voyage um so in this little package look guys disposable mask shoot <laughs> Um, also, let me get it, let me grab it. We got these cool little glasses that are gifts from Virgin. Um, I'm sure everyone got one, we're not that special, but you guys can see these are really nice. And also, I did pick up this a little earlier, but they gave us this nice fancy bag. A bottle opener, which is really neat, guys. Look at that. <laughs> this really he, like he doesn't use anything that has a bottle, so. Um, and then there's of course this little note from the Chip Branson, just saying, you know, thank you for joining us on our normal cruise, all that stuff. So, I'm not gonna bore you guys all details, but yeah, these are some gifts that were in the room already when we got here, and this little guy. But I don't think he's ours because he has twelve dollars on the bottom of it. But anyway, isn't it cute? Oh yeah. So anyway, um, that's what was there. Just wanted to show you guys there, and we can go have some fun. Ladies. <laughs> oh, okay. This is a real thing right there. <laughs> 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Siobhan. And this is Brandon. And we, we are Parkers, Parkers on, on the Go. go.